Today, I'm going to walk you through how to build an AI agent with Boomi and AWS for intelligent, human-validated customer support insights. So first, let's talk about the parts of an agent. An AI agent comes with instructions, access to models, the ability to leverage functions and tools, memory, and guardrails. For this particular build, I'm showing here underneath each of these parts what we're using for that particular function. So if you see this symbol like the one here under instructions, that is Amazon Bedrock, which is what we are using for the instructions, models, memory, and guardrails. For the functions and tools, we'll be leveraging Boomi. Our use case today is about a global manufacturing company that's struggling with inefficient customer support due to a fragmented knowledge base across various systems. The support tickets that are logged in Salesforce require significant research time causing delays. This combined with staff shortages results in slow response times, inconsistent service, and reduced customer satisfaction. To solve this, we're going to build an AI agent that will detect a new Salesforce support case. It will then research the problem by retrieving relevant information from our connected data sources. It's going to draft a suggested solution within Salesforce as a case comment for human review, and then it will update the case status so that somebody knows that they need to review it. Then finally, it'll create a ServiceNow task if a documentation gap is identified. So now we're going to hop into AWS. The first place we're going to go is into our S3 bucket. This is where we've uploaded the content that we want the agent to be able to reference before it creates that case comment. So we've created some FAQs, and we also have some product brochures loaded in so that the agent is able to reference more detailed information about each of our products. Within Amazon Bedrock, we're first going to want to give the agent model access. So for this particular build, we're going to be leveraging the Amazon Titan Text Embeddings V2. Here you can see access has been granted. And then we're also going to utilize Anthropic Claude 3.5 Sonnet V2 and Anthropic Claude 3 Haiku. So once you've given model access, we're now going to set up our knowledge base. So the knowledge base is taking those files that we uploaded into our S3 bucket, and it's putting them into a vector data store. So we have our S3 bucket files here, and we also created a ve vector data store for our Salesforce information. That's another data source that our agent will be able to retrieve information from. So once we have our knowledge bases set up, we're going to build our agent. So if we hop into the agent builder, You'll see here we've given the agent a name, a description, and we've also told it which model we want it to reference. So here we've selected the Anthropic Claude 3.5 Sonnet V2. We've also given it instructions. You are a helpful Support Case Insights Assistant. You will receive questions about products and you can use your knowledge bases to answer questions. If asked, you may use the tools available to complete any tasks. So of course, if we're going to leverage those tools, we need to allow the agent to do so by enabling action groups. The first action group that we set up was for Salesforce. Now you could use AWS Lambda to code these functions, but we're going to go the low code, no code route instead and leverage Boomi. So our action group invocation is return control. And this is because once the agent gathers the information from the large language model, it's going to then return control of this process to Boomi. And that's how we're going to call Salesforce to take action. So we have three group functions that we've set up within this action group. The first is to update the type or category value of a given Salesforce case. So in order to do that, we also need to look at the input parameters. So the agent's going to be looking at the Salesforce case ID as well as the Salesforce case type. The second group function is going to be to update the status value of the Salesforce case. This is how we mark that the Salesforce case needs human review. To do this, we're going to need the same Salesforce case ID parameter, but we're also going to look at Salesforce case status. And then finally, we set up an action group to create a new case comment in that Salesforce case. And this is where we're drafting that response to the customer. So we actually need to leverage three parameters for this. The first is Salesforce case comment is published. If this field in Salesforce is marked as true, that means that the customer who created that request will be able to see what is written. And since we want someone from the company to review that case comment before it's made publicly available to the case requester, we want access to that is published parameter to make sure that we make the comment private until it's approved by a human. 
Next, we'll need to know our Salesforce case ID. And then of course, our Salesforce case comment body, because this is where we're going to be drafting that response. So in addition to the action group for Salesforce, we also made a ServiceNow action group. So again, we're utilizing that return control um, because we're utilizing Boomi to take action within ServiceNow. And we only needed one action group function for this, and that was to create a task in ServiceNow. And the parameters for that would be the task description and the task title within ServiceNow. So once we have all of this set up in Amazon Bedrock, we're actually going to hop over into Boomi. We have something called the Discover Marketplace. This is where we have templates that users can install directly into their account so that they already have a template to work off of for their integration process. For this particular build, we have a Discover recipe called Invoke Amazon Bedrock Agent and Route Response with Tool Support. And so if we click this Get Started button, it would install into our account. We've already done this, so we're going to hop over into the Boomi platform. And this cu customer support insights process is what we've installed. So what's happening in this process is we're going to listen for a new case in Salesforce. Then we're going to categorize that case. And as we come down, you'll see we're going to prepare a prompt for the Bedrock agent. And then in the sub process, we're actually going to call that Bedrock agent. So here you'll see we're calling the Bedrock agent. And then we're utilizing that return control function once we get a response to leverage our functions or our tools. So this is really where the magic happens. So each of these branches is one of those different actions that we were discussing before. So here we're going to update the Salesforce case. On this branch, we're creating the Salesforce case comment. And then down here, we're creating that ServiceNow task. So I'm actually going to go ahead and run this process in test mode so that you are able to see our agent in action. Now, while that's running, I'm going to hop over into Salesforce so you can look at the case that we're going to be addressing. So this case is titled Seeking Guidance on Electrical Wiring Installation for the GC5060. If we come over into the details box, you'll see that the type is currently empty and the status is marked as new. So once the agent addresses this case, we'll see that the type has been categorized. We'll see that the status is going to be updated to needs human review. And we're also going to be able to see a case comment over here in this section. So let's hop back into Boomi and see what we've got with our process. So if we click into our return document shape and we look at the final response back from our agent, we'll see that this task has been completed successfully. So it researched the case details in our knowledge base and found relevant information. It created that private, private case comment and updated the case status to needs human review. And we also have a ServiceNow task ID. So if we hop back into Salesforce and refresh, We'll go into our details and we'll see here that the type is now updated to electrical. You'll see the status has been updated to needs human review. And if we hop over into our related tab, we can see here that it's actually drafted that case comment. And so we have a nice letter that's been formatted to send back to our customer. And at the bottom, you'll see it see, says best regard agent name. This is why we want it to be reviewed by a human so that our customer success or our customer service representative can insert their name here and make sure that everything that's being said is correct and what they would like to respond to the customer with. So now if we go back into Boomi, we're actually going to copy over this task ID from ServiceNow, and we can go into our ServiceNow instance and search for that task. And we can see here that that task has been created. There's a documentation improvement needed for the GC5060, and it gives the reasoning here. So today you've seen how you can use Amazon Bedrock together with Boomi to create no-code agentic solutions that help your business work more efficiently. Thanks for watching.